raining here as well. Not raining at the moment. So it will be very interesting to see just how the players adapt to a surface that is quite heavy as things stand as well. And firm and look interesting. So an interesting combination. It's the Polka who are down here to play against the Eagles in a Section B ABSA Under-21 match. Uh, still a little sparse when it comes to spectators at this point in time. It is a Friday afternoon, so I guess a lot of people are still working. And it's uh, the Falker then coming out in their traditional red strip. See Enzo Fenter there in uh, picture, the hooker of uh, the Falker team. And a few minutes ago, they were actually out on the field just uh, getting ready for this match. Fredo Olivier to get over the ball and stop the first line out for the Falcons. Very, a lot of pressure coming, so the hooker's actually popping up. Guys like Enzo Fenter. It's a solid base needed here. Body position's already too high for Southwestern Districts. And then start working from then on. Yeah, he's a big fellow, JC Belstead. On a Foster with a put in. See the, the people's scrum really under a lot of pressure. So picked up by Big Mayor, uh, rather, Big uh, Emil Lobsha. And carried up by Peter Matthews. Because it's always tougher playing against the wind a lot more while running around because you have to run your way up the field rather than kicking it up. So there as well, Paul Clear. to actually play into the wind fire that's on the goal force of course with the uh, eagles again they just need a good platform the what backs that can throw Cut. and they can start building from then on get numbers Four. to the right set phase play so good they need a good base and again <laughs> loads of pressure Number coming one, with that ruck. the question is where's the ball now has it been taken away by the Volker who's in the right position Carry up from Friedel Wulafir Good straight running there from from Lachenberg. Again, it's not just the forwards' duty. Background players have got to be doing the same. This is Enzo Fenter. Players with both teams, they haven't really advanced. Or the Falker, rather, they haven't really advanced to the Eagles' line. The Eagles have had their opportunity. Ulafir. Was just not quite sure who was outside him. This is him again. We're under Langer. Penalty advantage here to the Falcon. From Werendal, save the day for the Falcons. There's nothing wrong with that. And uh, it was a, a little bit dicey from their side, but they've kept it going. That's uh, Paul Krier. That's a rocker with uh, very little room to move in. And give him a little bit of space. He's got legs as well. Enzo Fenter in its scrum off. As you said, they actually have looked full cool of running. Somehow they've just been a bit disjointed in their attacking four race. Then again, error rate. They have to execute a lot better than that. That's better work that with uh, Fritz Feldman with a catch in the line out from Enzo Fenter. Change of direction. Just uh, ripped out there by the Eagles. That's the light actually coming away a lot of penalties because of the intensity of the Falcons attack. They're not realigning quickly enough on D. Line out's going a little bit better for the Falker as uh, this first half progresses. So we've seen some good morning from both sides. This is Woodendahl. Hold on to there by uh, Christian Villepse. Much better play. This is one of the rare times that the uh, Falk have been in the 22 of the and, uh, Matthews carrying it up. This is Enzo Fenter. He's done really well here. Got, got his team very much on the front foot now. Woodendahl should ideally have released that ball quite early. It'll be Fenter once again with a pickup at the back of the ruck. You can see the Eagles just spread across the field in defensive mode and certainly making their tackles at the moment. 
this time, De Lange, the carry up. So the centre three quarter part of the mix. It's got so many big men in their side, the, the Falke. Excellent running here as well by Eddie van der Westhuizen. Which way do they go? Hey, Willem, well, Emil Loebscher yeah. has been going nicely. It should create a beautiful right shoulder for Peter Matthews to pick and go using his power. Russell Roca, he has a chance. Now oh, Peter Matthews. That's good quick ball that from the ruck as well. His offload was a little bit too early or attempted offload. Nevertheless, they've managed to hold on to it. Good work to the traffic pretty well. Senzo Fenter got through a pile of tackles. Uh, definitely a chance, yes, sir, in some form or another. Would be ideal. Of course, it's a must win game, this in many ways, for the Eagles as well. They are two points behind the Falker. At the moment, it's a good clean out there at the ruck by the Falker forwards. A long pass. Woodendahl, who's uh, been pretty much part of the action, is uh, eventually bundled into touch. Captain of uh, the Eagles, that's a lovely little chip, but it might have gone a little too far. Good covering here from Matthews. Certainly the Falker have had uh, enough possession in this first half. Initially, they were battling to get their hands on the ball to the same extent. They've done a lot better in uh, that department. This is Enzo Fenter. He's been a hard-working player in this first half. So has this man as well, Friedel Ullefied. He'll be happy in this game with the forwards. Wins well, it's going to be a lonely game for them. There, a lot of chasing of kicks. If this weather continues to, to come down like this, the continues to come down like this. Yeah, it's a pity because, as we said in the first half, you know, the four wingers in the right head. Couch! Touch! Pull! In! Behind the ball! Managed to hold, bearing in mind, of course, that uh, those are boys uh, in the Falker team and not just to necessarily playing rugby in the rain. And in South Africa in winter, on, uh, in the lock position. Able to really make much ground there Finta Seven. there's absolutely nothing in it Eagles in the lead at the moment anything could change who's gonna break the deadlock here in the second half a lot to come cut back him and Kess went William Kess went to actually come in against the grain look, look for a lot of meters because we're the not chase so hard off scrum time Four. well the wind is absolutely pumping uh, rather the rain the Eagles have gone into three three split so midfield's very difficult to defend against Wendell has to decide which side he's going to go Four. Working the blind side, Costa trying to go on his own. Some of, uh, is pulled back there by uh, Inbert Langen, who I see is also on the field. Two second half tries. Now they're up against 14 men. So tactically, how do the pull there from the Eagles? They're not holding back. A better work rate from the Eagles on defense around the rack. Falcons running out of options. Well, they've met fairly stern resistance when it comes to. Interesting that uh, well, for a minute I thought that uh, Kieran Woodendahl was going to put the, the ball in from the, the opposite side. But these days it doesn't matter, Shami, because you don't hook anyway, do you? You ever hook from the ball? There's a unwritten code of conduct between hookers. If you don't hook for each other's ball. <laughs> so, good work that by the Falker. They've wrestled that ball back. Enzo Fenter, their captain, carrying it up. 
just trying to create the domination amongst the forwards bearing in mind they don't have uh, the left winger on the field at the moment with who's got a yellow card that's a drive, solid tackle there from Vickers Lawrence and again, they're just too tight. They're not asking the right questions. Too many players in the ruck are going to pick a drive like this. It's going to take them an hour to get to the try line. They need to get the ball out wide and look for space, use their pace, men, and then build from then on. And I suppose it's also quite difficult, you know, if you don't have a full back line to, to uh, create the extra space that you want. But meanwhile, you know, it's, uh, those 10 minutes have come at a crucial time too because the clock is winding down. You know, outside of that try from Smith, or rather that penalty from the extra numbers, Shami, but at least they're going to try and attack the Eagles line as much as they can. Kevin, I think importantly they, they're attacking a bit wider, hence the making meters, so they're giving their big men running into the smaller backs of the Eagles. That time round. Somehow the Eagles defense continues to hold. This is Stefan Stein. That time round. Somehow the Eagles defense continues to hold. This is Eddie van der Westhuizen. Just shows you the importance of defense as well. If you defend correctly, it's not just the actual tackles you make, it's how you organize yourself. Heavy tackling going on. Then it was uh, Fenter, Van der Verstaisen, he's a hard working flank forward, worked out there, no. only one score in the second half and here come the Falca. Here's uh, Tendrick Smith the full back. Throw in by Enzo Fenta. Well taken by Brio. No hands. <laughs> Bernard Ulefier coming onto the field to substitute John Fissa. Creer at the back, but it goes to Breda Hahn. No, and uh, Korea leading the charge over the line. No, just short of the line. Van der Vestazen was the man in possession. Try given by Pro Laqueta. And I think it could well be the flank forward Van der Vestazen down the left side for the Falca. Well taken by Gray. Chance for Duplessis to survey the field and options he's got smit on his right hand side gets now here comes that fenta the replacement hooker bang no straight hand into blue. the flank forward for safamar that man villian of red spin off enzo fenta with the throw well taken by breda han Good take by Engelbrecht. Two blue, let it go. Breda Hahn. Kursen well picked up by Delanga. Trying to hold Kulitsa off. Should come the way of the Falka. Well, it does, but uh, it's a pressure ball. But not yet, yet. Blue set on side and stay away. Worked out there. Fenter looking to go quickly. Tapping a little dart. 
Strong defense by Griquas. No hands. Stay back on side. Oh, and it's over. Is that over? 